Kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel, guys, and today I'm going to show you my top three spam attacks for Town Hall 14. Yes, guys. First of all, let's remove that trunk, though. Thank you very much. So anyway, this is the first attack we're going to be checking out. We're going to watch some replays in just a moment. Before we do, let's have a look at the army composition. So nice and simple, guys. 15 dragon spells are going to be three clone spells, two freeze, a rage spell, and then a poison spell to sprinkle on top. Normally, we're going to be using the battle blimp. Clan castle troops are going to be two yetis and two yetis only because this is going to be using the yeti clone bomb attack. We're only going to be cloning those yetis and nothing else guys so we're going to jump into our replay in just a moment before we do quick reminder on this channel we've got something called a creator code that's where you can help support your favorite content creator in game by using their code it's easy to do there's a c emblem in the shop and our code is code moose any support would be amazing you do need to renew it once a week Anyway, guys, let's jump into our first spam attack replay now. So this sort of air attack with the Yeti clone bomb is brilliant for bases like this. Loads of defenses around that town hall. We can clone those Yetis. What I want you to do is attack from the opposite side. Dragon on the left, dragon on the right. What do we call that, guys? We call it a funnel. Then the rest of the dragons in the center. Grand Warden on air mode. Don't forget to put him on air mode. You might want to use your heroes on the left and right. Or just send them in with the main army. With the Royal Champion as well. Use the Grand Warden ability to protect everybody. Including the Battle Blimp. As soon as you use your Grand Warden ability. And protect the Battle Blimp. All of your concentration should now be on the Battle Blimp. Now. This is important, guys. What I like to do is I put down the Rage spell first of all and then overlap the clone spells so the Yeti spread out, do loads of damage. Look, they're taking out all of those structures in there. Can they take out the Town Hall? Yes, they can. So instead of two Yetis, guys, you're, clo you're using three clone spells. So you get eight Raged Up Yetis together in the core of the base or wherever you send them in, guys. That's not nice. Imagine that. You're just walking to the local shop. You know, I just need some chocolate today, uh, a loaf of bread and some milk. And then suddenly in front of you, there's eight raged up yetis. I would run away rather quickly using a haste spell. Thank you very much. I would not want to uh, argue with uh, some yetis. Eight of them. Anyway, anyway, so here we go. Back to the action. What's going on? The dragons are pushing through the base. And this attack works perfectly with an air attack. Because, of course, you don't need to worry about walls. You don't need to bring earthquake spells. You don't need to, you know, jump spells. No. You can just worry about 15 dragons. That's why it's a beautiful spam attack. And, guys, one other thing I would say. Very important. If you can send in your main dragon army above the queen, do that because it distracts the defenses. It means the queen's often still there near the end of the battle. And if the queen's still there at the end of the battle, she's going to have the unicorn with her, which means more often than not, she has full health like so. And that can be so important to your attack. So here we go, guys. End of our first replay. No, there's something left. Where is it? Oh, no. Gold collectors. And guys, I do need to mention all of these replays for these spam attacks were filmed before the recent clan capital update. So I know a couple of things have changed. I know especially builder, uh, battle builders do repair a bit better now. They've got a slightly better repair ratio. Anyway, on to our next spam attack. And this one is beautiful one of my favorites five lava hounds 30 balloons three and they're the same again guys yeti clone bomb now it looks like it shouldn't work this spam attack guys but it does we're going to be using the battle blimp and sending in the yeti clone bomb again so same again sort of similar base to the last one what are we going to do guys we're going to attack from the opposite side we're going to use the king and queen on one corner then look at this we're going to send in all the lava hounds in a row five of them beautiful and then the balloons in a line behind them grand warden in the center and what i like to do is i do like to send in the royal champion so she benefits from the grand warden ability and it's exactly the same as the last attack now guys use a grand warden ability protect that battle blimp all of your concentration now on that battle blimp get ready for the yeti clone bomb now, like I said before, what I like to do is put down the Rage spell first of all. There we go. And then overlap the clone spells. And uh, I don't know what's going on in there, but there's a lot of angry yetis. They've hit the tornado trap. They've taken out the town hall. Can they take out those expos? Yes, they can. And the builder hurts. Yes. Magnificent. The balloons are going through the base. The Royal Champion's still there. She's taking out the enemy queen, but the enemy queen says no. And the Royal Champion's been taken out. But again, guys, same as the last one as well. 
I know I seem like I'm repeating myself, but send in your main army above the queen because look, there's the queen. She's on full health again with the unicorn. It's so important to do that. And guys, I've got to be honest, air attacks from uh, what I've seen are still the king at the moment. Are they going to change after this recent update? Air defenses have got a small buff, uh, you know... Um, Super Dragons and the Unicorn have had a slight uh, decrease in their stats. So it should be interesting. But these still are my top three spam attacks. They're fun. They're great. And if you're like me, guys, I'm 927,000 years old. I need spam attacks that require little or no skill. So these are perfect for me. And the Yeti Clone Bomb, it's nothing like the Super, Blizzard, uh, the Super Wizard Blizzard attack, guys. No, it's pretty easy. Uh, guys, we're going to freeze the Elixir Collector for four stars. Yes. Sorry, what I was saying, guys, is the Yeti Clone Bomb is pretty easy to use. Anyway, this is a fun one as well. Look at the army composition here. One goblin, two baby dragons, one minion. Yes, that's Mike the minion. 50 hog riders, one ice golem, and two headhunter spells are going to be three heal, four invisibility spells, an earthquake spell, rage spell, and a poison spell. And clan castle troops are going to be, I was just talking about this blizzard. Yes, guys, we're going to be using four super wizards. Uh, so this is a this is more of a show off attack. Uh, you know, it, it can go horribly wrong. I'll be honest, or it can go horribly right. So we're going to use an earthquake spell to damage the town hall. Then we use an ice golem and the king and queen there. Then I'm going to send in the battle blimp to use the blizzard attack on the town hall. Get ready here, guys. Get ready. So uh, get ready with your invisibility spells. There we go. Then a rage spell, and then cycle back to your invisibility spells. Now, the key at the beginning of the attack is try and take out the town hall if you can, because the hog riders do not like the town hall. Neither do I, guys. You've got to be careful in real life. There's a town hall down the road, and I went for a walk the other day, just minding my own business, and suddenly I was being Giga Inferno'd. Uh, my shoe uh, blew off. I fell on the floor. Uh, I woke up several hours later. Uh, forgotten what had happened and my wife said where have you been i said oh i got attacked by a uh, giga inferno she said oh, again i said yeah the same one i keep forgetting about it anyway back to the action what i want you to do is send in all of your hog riders in a line together with the royal champion and the grand warden use your heal spells as best as you can watch out for multi inferno scatter shots nasty things like that Use the Grand Warden ability when you uh, feel that it's right, guys. Save as many of those Hog Riders as you can. And when it works, guys, this looks amazing. Your clan mates will be sat there in shock, going, What have I just seen? Oh, my word. That was amazing. And then other times uh, it might not work as well. But the key is taking out the Town Hall at the beginning, so you don't need to worry about that with the Blizzard attack. Uh, what you might want to do, it's up to you guys, you might want to maybe drop a couple of troops, your Ice Golems, uh, you know, in a, maybe a baby dragon or, you know, just so you've got enough room for a lava hound to make sending in that battle blimp a bit easier. Just an idea there for you guys. But uh, this is the ultimate. Sp so these three spam attacks, I think, are fantastic. Great fun. Easy to use. Three stars. Thank you very much. So guys, hope you have enjoyed the video today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and uh, join the Samoose army. We're almost at 120,000 subscribers. Remember, you can use code Moose to help support the channel in game. See you later, guys. Bye.